Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is Dawn, and this channel is Dawn Does Keto. This channel is all about my personal journey on the ketogenic lifestyle. Today is Friday, October 20th, and Mike and I are getting ready to head out to Indiana. All of our keto friends in Indiana, they are doing a Hoosier meetup, and it is a Friendsgiving. I am taking green beans, so I got the bacon and the onions all cooked up already for that, so that's ready to go. Tomorrow morning, I will just throw everything in the crock pot with some butter and it'll be super simple because you all know how much I love to cook. But that will be our contribution to the Thanksgiving Friendsgiving meal. Mike is not home yet. It is approximately one o'clock. He's getting off at two today. We're gonna pick up the camper from his mom and dad's and then get on the road. I am going to try very hard over the course of the next three days to show you guys what I'm eating on this trip. The types of things that maybe we are eating on the go, if we have to grab something while we're out, what we're having at the Friendsgiving tomorrow. And I made Mike and I keto chow shakes to put in the refrigerator of the camper. And that way Sunday morning, when we're getting up and we are packing and getting ready to go and getting on the road that is something that is quick and simple for us to have we won't have to stop anywhere we can have a keto chow shake and that will keep us full this is one of those situations where keto chow comes in clutch guys if you are in a hurry you're not going to have a lot of time to eat you don't have time to cook something you can prepare these keto chow shakes they're good in the refrigerator for up to seven days one shake gives you a third of all the nutrients you need in a day. They are just an amazing meal replacement, not to mention the fact that they have like between 20 and 30 different flavors now. I've lost track of how many different flavors. So they have a flavor that is good for anybody. There's gotta be something there that you like. And then they have exotic flavors like pina colada and pistachio and all these great flavors. I made mica chocolate and I made myself a raspberry cheesecake. So those will be ready for Sunday. Sunday. If you need to put in a keto chow order, if you haven't tried keto chow yet, please consider using our link down below. That does help our channel out a little bit and it will give you 10% off of your order. So click through that link, check out the website. I'm 100% positive you will love it. With all of that being said, I am getting ready to make my coffee and I am going to make an electrolyte drink for the road. I am probably just not going to eat anything until we get to Jackie's tonight. Let me back up. We're staying with Jackie. So Jackie from Jackie's Keto Journey, we are taking our camper, but we're parking it on her property. So we're gonna have our own space and have a place to sleep, but we are staying there at her house. So Jackie messaged me today and said, hey, are you guys going to eat dinner or should I prepare something? Mike is having a chili cook off at work today. And so I know he's definitely eating lunch. So I'm just gonna fast. Jackie said she would have some steaks there. And so that's perfectly fine with me. I'm okay to just wait until we get to Jackie's house and have a steak. I mean, who doesn't love a steak? Especially when someone else cooks it for you. Win. So that is it for now guys and I will be back with you and try very hard to stay on top of sharing my food for this trip. See you soon. So we just stopped for gas at a Love's and we are about two hours and 40 minutes away from Jackie's. It is actually showing us getting there around quarter after nine. So we're gonna be setting up in the dark, which is always fun. It's been raining most of our trip off and on and we have hit a ton of traffic. Not even thinking that we would be in the Columbus area right at five o'clock traffic on Friday. That has definitely put us behind schedule. Mike is, uh, uh, has just pumped gas and is headed in to go to the restroom and then we will be back on our way. You know, we should have stayed at a harvest house tonight. It would have been a lot easier. Well, I 
didn't want to have to get up and then be getting there early in the morning and setting up and everything before. It would have been a lot easier than doing this because we're <laughs> going to be setting up late at night. We should have stayed at I just got shows. done saying we're going to be getting there at dark, so. You're getting the other side of more Mike. <laughs> the logical, make sense, do things the way you should do them side. I'm just saying we have that service and we should. that's what we should have mm -hmm. done because we could be pulling in somewhere right now or within the next hour and then we don't even have to set up. We're just there. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. We arrived at Jackie and Jim's last night. It was late. What time did we get in? You we think? got here about 9.30. Was it? Mm -hmm. I thought it was later than that. No. Nope. Well, by the time you get the camper set up and all right. that, it was probably between 10.30 and 11, I think. I had one job for this video. I wanted to vlog what we were eating, and the very first thing I ate yesterday, I didn't show you guys. So I did not eat all day. I fasted all day, and Jackie and Jim made huge steaks when we got here last night. They were... Each one was, how how much do you think they were? Like three pounds? I swear, they no, were huge. No, they weren't three pounds. <laughs> they were ginormous. They were big steaks, though. Yeah. They were thick. Yeah, and they were, they were really thick. So we each got one of those. I did not finish mine, so I will show you. This is what was left of it. I put it in a container so I could warm it up later. It was delicious, but I could not eat it all. And it was late, so I think that was part of it too right. because it was so late at night. Haven't had anything yet to eat this morning. I did make my coffee, so that's ready to go. I'm just gonna take that with me to the venue that we're going to. I got the green beans in the crock pot. That's what we're taking as our keto side dish so that's ready to go and the event starts at noon it's like eight till so we might be a few minutes late but it's about a 15 minute drive from here so it won't take us long to get there something else i wanted to mention real quick and i'm going to show you guys my shirt that i'm wearing so the shirt I have on says, faith it till you make it. I meant to talk about this in my last video about Keto Palooza. I got this shirt from Joyce Butler and Joyce has an online store where she sells faith-based and inspirational like t-shirts and plaques and all kinds of things. And so I'm going to link her, I think it's her Facebook page. I'm gonna link down below. So if you're interested in any of her items, you know, go check it out. She has some really great stuff she did a plaque that Emily and James have hanging in the background of their videos in their studio. She does really great work and if you guys are interested in anything like that like signs or shirts or anything that has like inspirational stuff on it she could probably even do like personalized stuff but her prices are very reasonable so definitely go check her out. I'm wearing that today to kind of bring a little bit of Joyce along with us on this meetup today. So we will see you guys in a little bit. I'll show you, I promise I will show you the food at the meetup. Well, hello. Hello. I'm glad you could join us today. Everybody, more mic. Stick it in the trunk. Hello. Hi, Rusty. How are you? Hi, Beth. How are you? Hi, Bob. How are you? Hi, girls. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Rusty showing off his talent. <laughs> Hey, pretty lady. I love the video. I was to the eight years old. That's just like, that's just like, um, like Dr. Cyrus telling us. Hi. Hi. What, what's the hold up here? They're waiting for a hand. We're waiting for food. Let me take it out there and get it in the warm all that stuff so if you need to start eating you can we've been uh, eating I love that. Really? Um, if you are clean keto or carnivore do not eat the hams they are not super clean I just wanted to warn everybody so you didn't eat something that 
didn't expect to eat. Um, and then I've got sour cream and cheese and all that stuff, cold, so it should be safe to eat. Okay. But other than that, we should, like I said, about 20 minutes. Alright. Oh, no, no. Maybe I didn't it. I know it's going to be It's right there. It's the metal pan. It's um, cauliflower and pumpkin puree together. It's a talking to the website. What is it? What are you talking about? This right here is um, sweet potato casserole, but it's made with cauliflower and pumpkin keto chow instead of. Okay. You can tell everyone's already been picking at the food, but this is what we have now. Shrimp, keto chow sweet potato casserole made by Jen Delaney. Meatballs, green beans. What's in it? Meat, it looks like. Is it supposed to be like chili? There is going to be brisket right here. It just hasn't made it yet. This is good. This is the lowest calorie, lowest carb food you will ever eat. <laughs> right? Gluten free, carb free. Water, right? Better than water. I got my Jackie, this is really good. Who made the pumpkin roll? I did. Yeah. She's like, I don't have the stuff to make the pumpkin roll. I'm like, no. And here is the pumpkin sausage soup. The infamous pumpkin sausage soup. So good. Made by yours truly over there, Jackie. The brisket has arrived. <laughs> There's a lot of it. Holy moly. You already almost ate one. This is the <laughs> second one. Oh my gosh. Looks good. I keep them around for one reason. For me. <laughs> well, then why, well then why do I keep Mike my around? Because he doesn't do too. that. I don't know. <laughs> he drives you places. True, he does. It's in these moments with words unspoken My eyes wide open Life tastes so Good morning, everyone. We are back in our car. It is Sunday morning, and I have always wanted to go to a Rockstar Pizza. We don't have anything like that close to our house, like a Blaze Pizza. I think there's another one. I can't think of the name of it. But Rockstar Pizza has a lot of keto options. They have a keto crust for a pizza. They have keto breadsticks. I guess they have keto soups. Just a lot of different options on this way of eating. So I've always wanted to try it, and there's one close to Jackie's. So we're headed there now. Jackie's going with us and her two sons, and we're meeting Dustin from Keto Simple there. So that is where we're going. We have arrived. You're just like a big silhouette That's because all. of the sun behind you. That's all you need. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. I can't even tell you. Look. Keto bacon sticks. 
Oh, okay, so I see here, right here, it says keto crust. You got a 12 inch. We have the salad bar here. These are the desserts that they have. They have a butterscotch with chocolate fat bomb. They have a strawberry with a, like a white chocolate bottom fat bomb. And then they have this chocolate chip cookie bar.